Hi everyone, I am Grandpa Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies, and today is going to be build update number one for my 67 Chevelle Pro Street. It's an AMT kit, 125th scale. I did a unboxing video of it earlier. I'll put a link right around here somewhere right now. So anyhow, this is what we got done so far tonight. I got the mold lines all taken care of on the body, which quick, fast, and in a hurry. They came up and around over here and then back down. Got them all sanded out, sanded the body down, trying to keep away from the emblems because I want to try to detail them out. Very quick, very easy. Next thing I did was went on to the engine. I got it blocked out and ready to go for primer. This fit together, it fell together. There was no flash, no nothing on it. Sanded down the, the bell, top and bottom. Did a quick sand here and here, and this is ready to go. Drop the water pump on, and it's got a uh, piece for the lower water pump, or the lower radiator hose to come into it too. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get that run up on there too while I put this together. I think I can do it. Next thing, and I always do it is, I go with my seats, clean these all off, got everything done. I'm gonna do the frame and the back in black, and I'm gonna do the cushions in a dark gray. I think that'll look really sharp inside this car. I'm going to paint in the uh, seat belts. They're molded in there. They took the time to make that mold, and it looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Both of them look great. No flash, no bubbles, no bings, no nothing. Little pin mark right down on the bottom. Quick sand and she's gone. And then I went on to these headers. And man, I am impressed with the headers. Look at that. Quick sanding down at the bottom. Did a little rough knife work here. Clean that out. Same with this side. And they fell together. Nice. Uh, there's two pin marks here. You put it together and it pulled in tight here. Just a drop of glue underneath one. And I'm using the Tamiya's extra thin. She held, ready to go. They fit on the head real nice. I mean, look at that. Fit on the head. I drew the line on the bottom where the, the bottom of the header goes. I'll drill my holes for my uh, spark plug wires. And these will be gone. I'm not attaching these to... <laughs> these to the block yet because I'm going to paint these aluminum. I want aluminum heads. If you're going to spend the money to pro street a car, you're probably going to spend the money to do the aluminum heads on there too. Lighten it up as much as you can. The brake is outstanding. It does have a uh, vacuum boost on it. So I'm going to show you a picture right here of the windshield washer part on the the uh, drawing. I'm not going to dig it out for you and everything, but this is the drawing for it, and it shows a can on there, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the vacuum can. I'm calling it that. So I'm going to run this, the, the booster hose over to the vacuum can, and then back around to the underside of the intake. And speaking of the intake, it is in simple green, along with the carbs, the intake top, and the fan. I'm going to pull the chrome off of them, and uh, we'll paint them up aluminum, the flat aluminum, so that they match the heads and everything kind of is blended together. One thing I did leave chrome that I usually don't, but I figured on a Pro Street, again, they spent the money on it, so they're going to probably use it. I got a chrome alternator in this kit, and I'm going to leave it there. What I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll rough this up a little bit, and I'll paint it uh, semi-gloss black, and it'll be good to go. I'm also going to use these in these air cleaners. These are sharp, good detail in there. Nice screen on the filters. But I like these, and I think they're going to look great sticking out of that hood. So the last thing I did was I did a quick pin wash on my rims and my chrome trim just to uh, give it a little bit of highlight. I also did the bumpers, and I'm happy with the bumpers. Check this out. There's the back bumper. 
I used acrylic real black on it. That way I could get it on there and then scrape it back off. I have a little bit of touch up to do because it does shrink a little bit when it's done. But so far, first coat, I also did flat white on the backups. I'm happy with that. And then also happy with this. There's the front bumper. I did not do the orange yet, but I got the black on there. I still need a little bit of a little scrape. I could see little, little marks, but that's why I keep picking the stuff up and looking at it so I can make it perfect or as close to perfect as my shaky hands and blind eyes can do. I also did the black in here. And again, same stuff. Worked great. Scrapes off real easy with a, with a uh, toothpick. It does scrape off more than you like most of the time. So you have to do come back and touch things up. But it's the best I can, I have found yet. All right. And there is build update number one. First one in a series. This is going to be a nice kit. I can already see it. I scraped some of this down. Got this ready for primer. Tomorrow, I'd like to get the rest of the kit ready for primer and maybe a shot of primer on it. But we're getting close to Christmas and it's kolache time. So that takes precedent over everything. But anyhow, I'm Grandpa Mark, Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. Thank you for watching and have a great day.